Kalema Motlante doesn't mention President Jacob Zuma by name, but he's quoted as saying it takes courage for people to own up to their mistakes. Similarly, senior ANC leader Inok Godongwana reportedly said that in order for radical economic transformation to work, a functioning state free from corporate capture is needed. These comments come in the middle of a raging debate within the ANC-led alliance about the influence of the controversial Gupta family on President Zuma's administration. The latest reports suggest the family held a secret meeting with Ntlantanene's deputy, Mkabisi Jonas, to offer him the job of finance minister. Some say this isn't surprising, as leaders like Figile Mbalula had a similar experience. You remember he was, uh, he was campaigning to be the secretary general of the ANC. He said that in public, not only privately with me, but in public. He said that uh, he first heard of, his, of him being appointed uh, to the uh, Ministry of, Post, of, of Sports from the Coptas. And, uh, and, and this is what uh, drives some of us mad. I mean, how, how is that possible? And um, even the, the Van Royen issue, it's not just some things Jonas now saying, or some people who have closer information saying that uh, he would have been approached first. But I, I, I came to know about, uh, about the possibility of uh, Van Royen moving uh, into that ministry at least two weeks before that happened. And uh, again, the people say that that's what the, the Guptas are panting. And when it happened, I said, well, uh, you know, there you are. The Guptas have told ENCA that the allegations about their alleged involvement in the finance ministry shakeup are untrue. The family says it's prepared to take legal action to protect its reputation if need be. Meanwhile, the ANC has dismissed the Sunday Times story as gossip. Those criticizing the ANC government are people who no longer hold leadership positions and therefore have nothing to lose. The only exception being Inok Godongwana, who chairs the party's economic transformation subcommittee. It's costly to speak where there is no civil society support because you lose your job. You can't afford to have a situation where people's future, just bread on the table, is threatened by speaking. And we need to get to a stage where people have the courage to speak because they know the people are here. And I think that's, that's critical. There are also fears business people have an increasing influence on the ruling party. It's important to speak to business. Mm. Business always sides with those who have power to deliver what they want. And if you spoke and you lost that control, they actually forget you. They pack you away, go to those who have power to deliver what they want. The ANC is heading towards the local government elections with more and more people calling for President Jacob Zuma to step down. Whether this criticism will affect the ANC's performance at the polls remains to be seen.